Okay, so we're beginning 7.1, and um, we are going to go to page 315. And we are going to start there about halfway down. And we're going to talk about the polygon angle sum theorem. So we know triangles, the sum of all the angles in a triangle, equal 180 degrees. And now we're going to look at the polygon angle sum theorem. And so the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon with n sides is n minus 2 times 180. And that's what we you should have figured out on the worksheet I gave you um, after the, your test today. Uh, so if we look at this first example, example A, it says for a the nonagon shown, find the unknown angle measure x degrees. Okay, so first we need to find out what the t all of them add up to be. And if we look here, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine sides. And so I'm going to use the uh, polygon, polygon angle sum theorem, and I'm going to say, which is n minus 2 times 180. Um, and so I have 180 times 9 minus 2. N stands for the number of sides, which gives me 180 times 7, which gives me 100, 1,260 degrees. That is how much all of these inside angles are going to add up to be. And so if I subtract every one of these in here, 135, 9, 98, 102, 140, 200, 172, 130, 125 from that 1,260, I would find X. And they have written it out this way here. So if you subtract all those from 1260, you're going to get that that last one is 158 degrees. So look at the next page, 316. Number six, determine the unknown angle measures in this pentagon. Well, how many sides are there? There's one, two, three, four, five sides. So I'm going to say N equals five. And I know all of these need to add up, uh, or will add up to 180 times five minus two. So 180 times five minus two would be 180 times three which is 540 degrees. And from 540 degrees, I can subtract, look, this one's 90 degrees, this one's 90 degrees, and this one's 90 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 270, and I get 270. Okay, now, if you notice, these two are the same, aren't they? So 270 divided by 2 was going to give me 135 degrees for each of those. Okay, so I want you to do 7 on your own, and then I want you to come back and see if you've done it right. Okay, you should have gotten that the missing angle was 87 degrees. So now turn... So the next page, page 317, and let's look down here at the exterior angle theorem. And it says that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of its remote interior angle. So we got to think about what this remote word means, okay? So if we look down here and it says, I, I, we're not going to complete the proof, but we're going to look through this. It says angle four is an exterior angle, okay? It forms a linear pair with angle three, and its remote angles 
are one and two. So do you see what the word remote means? It means the angles that are furthest from it. So let's look over on the next page to an example. So find the measure of angle B. Now we know that that theorem tells us that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote two. So look what they've done right here. The remote angle is equal to the sum of the remote two angles. Okay, so do you see how that does that? So let's look at B and see if we can do B. So the remote angle, okay, 3x minus 8 is my remote angle, and it's equal to the sum of the remote two angles. So the remote two angles will be 90 plus x plus 2. So I would get 3x minus 8 equals x plus 92. I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides, which gives me 2x minus 8 equals 92. I'm going to add 8 to both sides, which gives me 2x equals 100. And divide both sides by 2, x equals 50. And now I can find out the angles. So if I say 3 times 50 minus 8, it's 150 minus 8 would be 142. And this one, 50 plus 2 would be 52. 52 and 90 is 142. So yes. We checked our work and we did that correctly. So turn the page to uh, 319 and I want you to try 11 and then come back and see if you did it right. Okay, so the, if you did this right, you'll get x equals 10 and the measure of angle n would be 37 degrees. And that is it for your video tonight. I will see you tomorrow.